tech tidbits, and he's found a cool new app that you're sure to enjoy. So, Chris, what have you got for us this month? So this month I actually have an app called Every Trail. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that when you go out for a walk or a run or a bicycle ride, kayak, whatever, uh, it actually will track your, where you went on a map. Mm -hmm. And along the way, you can actually document things you've seen. So in a minute, I'll show you some photos of a trip I recently made around Forest Park. Okay, so every trail, so it's an app you can put on your phone. Correct. And you, so you're, you have it up when you're like taking your hike. Correct. And um, you're documenting as you go, and it's tracking you, like mileage and that kind of thing? Yeah, it actually tracks quite a few things. One mm -hmm. of the things it tracks is the distance, mm -hmm. how long you've actually had the app on, so the amount of time, and then also your average mile per hour. Okay. And then when you're done, there's uh, some other stats you can look at uh, historically, and it'll show you the elevation change. So if you're out hiking mm -hmm. or you're running through Forest Park with friends, you want to see, so how much elevation change did we have? Because that'll have an impact on how fast you can go. Okay. And it also tracks your mile per hour. Okay, that's cool, mm -hmm. actually. So let's look at some of the, um, the pictures. I know we've sure. got some examples of what this looks like. So Okay, so this is just basically, this is a, the home screen. And from this, you can either start the app or the nice thing you can do is you can search for things around where you're at. Okay. So there's different categories. Let's say you want to do sightseeing. You mm -hmm. know, and you're around Forest Park in Central West End. Some of the things I found was in the Central West End, someone did a bicycle ride from Central West End to downtown and took photos of different things along the way. Okay, cool. So this is what it looks like when you start. Okay, then Correct. what's this, Chris? This is actually one of the, the first piece I did in Forest Park. So actually, if you were able to look a little more detail, it'd have a little start and stop uh, arrows and as it, actually the red uh, route is where I went and okay. each of the different bubbles is a different photo along the way so this is a photo I took at the base of Art Hill. Okay so this map that, that we're looking at is actually after you've completed your entire route so as you're going it would only have shown part of it obviously. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And then and this is the birdcage. Okay. And along the bottom, it's neat because you have di all the different photos you've taken. Ah. So you can actually click on that and you can share with friends and family. Okay. And the reason I wanted to do this was I have some relatives coming in for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to show them all the real neat things in Forest Park okay. because it is so diverse. And they can follow exactly where you went. You went, were on a bike, is that yes. right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you're on the bike trail. Right. And then this is actually the final piece where I can look at historically how fast was I going and what the elevation change was. Okay. And then I have comments on some of the photos. Like, for example, I really wanted them to go to the boathouse because mm -hmm. it's a a great place to sit outside. Mm -hmm. You can have a meal. You know, the zoo is so diverse. There's so, so many different things. Did you go by the boathouse on your route? I can't read it from here. <laughs> yeah, actually, one of the photos. If you if you want to go later, you can go to everytrail.com. Okay. And you can look on anybody's uh, different routes they've uploaded. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So we can go see other, get other ideas. So you know what's really neat about this is you could actually, I mean, you did it in Forest Park, mm -hmm. but like if you were going to another city or something like that, um, you could do your whole trip, right? And document yeah. it. And then you'd have that as sort of a souvenir for yourself. Exactly. That way you can share. And again, I like the idea of, let's, let's talk about what, what the great things are in St. Louis. And mm -hmm. again, Forest Park is so diverse because I started with the lake mm -hmm. and then I go to Steinberg and go ice skating. And right. Then, you know, you've got the art museum and then right across from that, you get the zoo. Right. And then you have yeah, the Muni, you've got the, the boathouse. There's just so much to do. And I want to make sure people are aware of that when you they know come what? This might be really fun for kids, like a walk around the neighborhood. You know? Well, it's, if, <laughs> if you want to take it to a different level, you can actually <laughs> tell your kids, where were you today? And you show me, show me the photo of all of the places you stopped. Oh, there you go. Um, just saying, you probably could. Yeah, it's like spying on your kids. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but it'd be cute if you have young kids and you want to show them how to walk to school, for example. And you could, like, document the photos and places they're going to see uh, along the way. Exactly. All right, I'm really probably simplifying this. I'm sure there's <laughs> this was not the intent. But I think I'm thinking about all the different ways this could be used. Yeah, and it really is. It's, it's very simple. It's mm -hmm. a free app. Mm -hmm. You can download it and it works on the uh, Android based and the Apple phones. Okay. Free app, download it, and then you're ready to go. Okay, so every trail is what it's called. So you just go to your, your store, your Play Store on your on your phone, and you can find every trail. Yes. And just download it, super simple, and then it's easy to use. Yes, and it's free. Did I mention that? Yeah, which <laughs> we like free, so that's great. Okay, so um, we are not going to see you again until 2014. Wow. It's right around the corner, however. Um, what have you got? Can you give us a little teaser of what we're going to hear about in January? Sure. So I actually I came out from a trade show just recently, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of really neat products out there. So all I'm going to tell you right now is that if you happen to ride a scooter or a motorcycle in the city and you're a little concerned about safety, this is a real neat little product, inexpensive. It goes onto your vehicle real easily okay. and it'll make you more visible. Okay, so January we're going to hear about this really cool product that um, 
Chris found at his uh, at the recent trade show, which is cool. I mean, Chris always has the latest for us, so that's great. So every trail, going back to that, every trail is available for iPhone and Android devices, and from your desktop or your or mobile web, you can map your own routes or use previously created guides from other people for destinations across the country. And for more information, visit everytrail.com. Um, stay tuned to STL TV Live. We'll be right back, and then Chris will be back in January.